What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so we're here in Chandelure Town, or Chandelure Town? Why did I say Chandelure? Because, probably because it sounds like Chandelier, Chandelure, Chandelure, and I'm looking for my pen right here. Oh, there you are. Okay, so here we are in Chandelure City, and yes, you can hear it in the music, all mystic and all that stuff. Yes, guys. This is where the story gets very interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and heal my Pokemon. Of course, we're going to be lagging at the first part of this hit walk through right here. Really? Really? Just really? Okay, so there we go. We're healing up our Pokemon, and everything is okay. Now, let's see. As you can probably see, look at that. The old bonding power man is here, and he's going to give us more bonding powers, and uh, we're going to get critical power level 1, which is cool, because it will increase our... Uh, critical hits and all that crud and well yeah this place is a legendary for its biggest thing mega evolution and well let's see what does it say right here shall we city a city of awakening so I'm gonna be going taking a visit being majestic and all that stuff and we're gonna talk to a few people that will offer us some stuff like uh, let's see even if Pokemon are the same species each Pokemon has a different nature and so on this is so goddamn true talk to this person oh oh my your charmeleon seems to like you that's so nice to see it makes me want to give you this and here we have this soothe bell which will of course help our Pokemon be more friendlier and all that crud and let's see uh, there's always the holocaster when you want to check out the news that is true and what does this person have to give us being good or bad a Pokemon battle is just one of the many measures of a, a people I want to show off my awesomeness in eating contests I bet you anything I beat I can beat you in an eating contest says the guy that ate 25 tacos one time that's right, I ate 25 tacos, and I will not be using another repel. Uh, in our last episode, we went straight to the uh, Reflecting Cave, I would like to say, and yeah, it was an adventure right there. If you are a Pokemon trainer, will you show me how uh, you're raising your Pokemon and, and with loving care? Sure. Which Pokemon do you want to show me? Now, this person will give you a footprint, um, a footprint ribbon, and, well, I'm going to show him Kakashi right now, since it is my first Pokemon. Oh, Friday. Frogadier was at level 5 when you first met. Now it's at level 35. You raised it quite well. I will feel your love for this Pokemon. You walk and raise it to this Pokemon. This is a token of gratitude for showing me your love, your great love for Pokemon. We get ourselves a footprint ribbon. Now I don't think it's going to happen with... Uh... Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen with Charmeleon because I got it at level 10. So let's go right ahead and go straight for Aaliyah since we did catch it at a, a, a lower level. It's at level, th yeah, level three. Raise it quite well. Yeah, it's not going to give us anything else. So I think that's pretty much it right there. Talk to this guy. As intimate someone, you'll create your own style. If you want it strong, to be strong, it might be a good idea in, in, uh, to be imitate, imitate, to imitate a strong trainer. I don't even know how to say that. Wow. And then, hi. Do you have a flying or psychic type Pokemon with you? Oh, Gardevoir type is uh, with you. Would you help me get some luggage that's too high for me to reach? And we do. Because we're nice like that. And uh, thank you, I'll give you this. We get ourselves some Stardust. Mind you that you can actually get Stardust every single day, I think. From this lady right here, so. Moving on forward, let's just... Let's get it all over with. Cross right here. The gang is here. Hey, Sensei, how's your uh, journey going? Hello, Draven. Let's compare our coastal Cal uh, Kalos Pokedexes and see who has more kinds of Pokemon. To put it another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen 48 kinds of Pokemon. I lost. How frustrating. Get this. I found some great Pokemon dancers. Oh, yeah. I just remembered. The professor told us to say hello to Mr. or to the Mega Evolution Guru when we reached Salur City. That's right. He did say that. Okay. Hmm. Who were we supposed to say hello again? A guy called the po the Mega Evolution Guru. Oh, that's right. He did say that. Well, I guess we should look for the Mega Evolution Guru then. Where do you think he is, anyways? Um, I heard he's in an imposing building deep in the city, the Tower of Mastery. Oh, okay. Well, okay. we're gonna have to look for the Tower of Mastery right here. Now, there really isn't a lot that you can do right here except just battle gym leader and all that crud. 
But let's see, when you act like Pokemon exists only to battle, the winning and losing becomes the only thing that matters. And that kind of uh, make me, uh, or that kind of make everything a lot less fun, which I guess, I don't know. It is true, I guess, I don't know. And let's see, what does this guy have to say? I want to see every single move that, a po that can be used by Pokemon. Then get a Mew. Eternal life, huh? It probably seems nice at first glance, but I definitely get bored with it. I think everybody get bored, gets bored with eternal life and all that stuff. And let's see, talk to this one all the time in the love and soul you put, you pour into your Pokemon. It's not for nothing, you'll see. Yeah, everybody's giving me some kind of a, a bit of a lecture right there. So let's move on. Let's go straight to the Pokemon gym because uh, I believe Karina is the gym leader right here. And well, let's see, if you talk to this guy, make sure your Pokemon, uh, okay, blooming full, whatever. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for some items here, because I did see on the handbook that there will be more. Let's trade one of your citrus berries for one of my lemon berries, shall we? Sure. And look at that, we traded the own, his own kind of Pokemon thing. Yikes. Pokemon battle and all that stuff in Pokemon trade. Friendship is power! With that in mind, the best way to bring out Pokemon's hidden power is to become friends with it. Don't you agree? That is true. It is so true, because, uh, well, again, return attack based off of friendship and here's the gym but the only man that's ever believed in us is right here he's like the leader Karina is at the Tower of Mastery doing some intensive training well I guess we're gonna have to go to the Tower of Mastery and take care of a few situations there so before we go Trevor and Tierno he's like sensei check this out a new dance isn't this cool a, a stunt cool I got it from a person called the wandering stone collector for showing off my dance moves it might be a Mega Stone. Here, Sensei, you can have it. I want you to I want you to have it, cause you're such a great trainer and all. I still remember our battle from Ralph, uh, on Route Five. And looking at, we got ourselves an intriguing stone. And holy bejeebus. that's the Master uh, Tower of Mastery. So cool. It is. It's so cool. Well, I'll go call Trebs then. Go on ahead, okay? Okay, so here we go. Let's take care of business. Let's go to the Tower of Mastery. Look at that. In all its glory, the Tower of Mastery. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a doozy right there. So we're going to be running straight forward. There's really nothing you can do except just come in here and talk to the people. Now look at this. Good golly, look at that. Big ass Lucario. So we walk in here and go straight to the door right here. Oh my god. Oh! You must be Draven then. Sycamore told me uh, you would be coming. I'm called the Mega Evolution Guru, I guess. You, would, you could say that I'm a, an acquaintance of his. Oh, but Mega Evolution Guru isn't my real name, of course. Now, come here for a moment, will you? Mm-hmm, okay, there's Karina. Where's everybody? Hmm, only one of you. I thought he gave five kids a Pokedex. Isn't there anyone else with you? And here they are. Oh! Who's that you're talking to, Sensei? People call me the Mega Evolution Guru. Ah, my name is Tiro. And that's Draven over there. My name is Trevor. Pleased to meet you, uh, Sycamore's pupils. But there are only three of you, huh? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's this now? Were... Were you the one who found the intriguing stone? I'm just gonna put like, yeah, it was given to me. But, of course, Tierno right here is a little too modest. He's like, what? Uh, it was you who found it, right, Sensei? Yeah, if you tell lies, the truth will be clouded and eventually lost. And while we're being honest, that intriguing stone is just an ordinary rock. Well, yeah. Hmm. Sure, a lot of hubbub out here. Does it? Does that mean everyone else has arrived? Not really. I'm still waiting on my two girlfriends. You know that, right? You got two girlfriends. Hey there. So you made it to Shellu City. Lucario is in its Pokeball, but it's really happy to see you. Well, we should go and see what's going on too. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, well, hello, hello there. The two girlfriends have returned. Hmm. Looks like everyone's finally here. Sensei. 
What up, baby? Where have you been? Um, battling. You see, this is what happens when you have two girlfriends in the same game, guys. It's just big old ball breakers and all that crud. It feels like it's been a, uh, some time since our team or since our whole group uh, was gathered in one place. Yeah, I think it's been since we met up at Route 7. Mr. Mega Evolution Guru. I've been wondering this whole time, who is that over there? This is my granddaughter, Karina. She is the Shalur City Gym Leader. So, Sycamore's pupils, now that you're all here, I suppose I should explain the Mega Evolution to you. I assume you all know about Pokemon Evolution. I know, I know. Um, you're, you have Pokemon battle a lot, and they grow stronger and evolve. Oh, and there are Pokemon that evolve with certain items. Some Pokemon evolve through friendship, and others only evolve in certain places. Exactly. And it's likely that Pokemon evolve in a lot of other ways as well. But Mega Evolution is an evolution that transcends all other evolutions. Where have I heard that before? You know, this is a Super Saiyan beyond a Super Saiyan. Or you could just call this a Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> Indeed. Mega Evolution is a transformation of Pokemon that were taught to be unable to or thought to be unable to evolve any further. It's a whole new level of power. So, in an evolutionary line like Charman or Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, does that mean Charizard would be able to evolve even further? Yep, exactly. But not all Pokemon have a Mega Evolution. There's a reason why I used the word transformation a moment ago. Mega Evolution differs from evolution because it's all, it ends after a certain amount of time. In other words, it's a temporary evolution. What? It evolves, but then it goes back to what it was before? Yes. Mega Evolution is a special kind of evolution. That is, that said, we still know very little about it. We, what we know now is that it requires a special items. And the most important element is the trust between Pokemon and Trainer. Trust. In other words, the bond between Trainer and Pokemon. To make Mega Evolution work, you need two items. A Mega Stone and a Pokemon and Mega Ring, which has a mysterious stone set in it, in it for a Trainer. Since Professor Sycamore entrusted each one of you with a Pokédex, I would like to give these items to all, all of you. I'd like to share them with you, but... But? But what? Just come out and say it already. Sorry, but presently I only have one Mega Ring. It's a very precious item, that's why my research isn't going anywhere. So I want all of you to decide amongst yourselves, which one of you will be the, the one who challenges the Mega Evolution successor. I'll pass. Pokemon battling isn't my scene. So Mega Evolution would be way out of my league. Me too. It would it would really be uh, or it really would be cool memory and it does look interesting, but I want to compete uh, uh, I want to complete the Pokemon's uh, Pokédex first. If you try to do too much at once, you won't accomplish anything. Wow, that sounds familiar. So that leaves Sensei and Serena then. Trainers don't get much better than you two. Hmm. Draven, let's battle for it. Whatever the reason, a battle gives us an opportunity to compete to see who Vanneville's, uh, Vanneville's uh, town's best trainer really is. Whatever you say, baby. Okay. Uh, maximum effort. Uh, you know what? Let's see. We're gonna switch around Kakashi and Godzilla Godzilla because we got a little bit of a bone to pick with. Alright, baby. Let's do it. Okay, so everything is set. Are you ready? Yep. I will master Mega Evolution and set myself apart from other trainers. I'll also do it for my Pokemon. We've come to we've come so far together and they've never stopped believing in me. They're trainer. You and your Pokemon are stronger, I can tell just by looking at you. But I will not lose. No, I'm going to win. Oh, damn. Okay, so here it is, guys, another battle with the girlfriend, Serena. Mm, she looks lovely. And she will come out with her meow sick. Look at it, little Pokemon right there. But guess what? Kakashi Hitake, ready to kick some ass. About to lick you dry right here, because look at that. Lick attack. Psychic attack Pokemon's uh... Oh look at that, it's paralyzed, so okay, alrighty. 
And here comes that light screen. I knew you were going to do that. So we're going to get physical with you, homegirl. Let's do it. Quick attack. For the win. Let's go. Quick attack. Look at that. And here comes that side beam. Definitely like how its eyes get all messed up afterwards. And yes, we are confused. So let's go ahead and finish this girl off with a uh, water pulse attack here. Come on. Water pulse. Finish it. Damn it. Forgot about light screen. And you are confused too. It doesn't really feel that right, huh? And here comes another confused or uh, psychic beam or psi beam, I should say. All right. Let's go with a quick attack. Let's get it. Quick attack. Come on. Damn it. It was supposed to be for the win, but you're paralyzed. You can't do shit. So here we go. Quick attack again. There we go. Meowsick has been defeated. Suck on those lemons. Alrighty. Look at that. 900 points. The light screen has worn off. So now she's coming out with a Quilladin, her evolved Pokemon. So I'm going to go with the man, the myth, the legend, Godzilla number three right here. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Godzilla number three. Oh, yes. And this Quilladin looks all fierce and all that crud. So let's go with a Flame Burst. There we go. Flame Burst for the win. Quilladin defeated. Oh, yeah. We're, yeah, we're rocking, we're rocking this girl's world right now. And here she's coming out with an Absol. So let's go straight for another Pokemon right here. Let's go with Bonesaw. That's right. Bonesaw. If you guys are wondering how I got that nickname, watch the original Spider-Man movie. May you rest in peace, Mr. Mach Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah, I can't even do it right now because I'm sitting down, but this Pokemon right here is a little faster than us. And, wow. It looks like we're not even going to get a good hit on this Pokemon. And, yeah, Bonesaw gets his butt kicked. Oh, crud. Okay, you won that one. But here comes Aaliyah, the Pikachu. Alrighty, Aaliyah, finish her off. Thunderbolt attack. That's right. Thunderbolt does it. Say goodbye to Absol. I'm feeling good about that. And all my Pokemon are gaining levels, and she's like... So I lost in. Yup. That's right, baby. Don't feel too bad. It was so strong. I could feel how powerful the bond between you and your, po your partners is. Losing is frustrating, but... You were definitely able to Mega Evolve your Pokemon. I'm sure of it. They may be winners and losers in Pokemon battles. But I really thought you two and your Pokemon were winners. Mega Evolution is nothing more than just one way to make your Pokemon stronger. There are many trainers who bring out the strength in their Pokemon without Mega Evolution. Well then, Draven. First, you should challenge Karina, the gym leader. Pokemon need a Mega Stone. And a Pokemon trainer need Mega Ring. Well, my mysterious trainer, my Lucario may have taken the shine to you, but now I must test you to see if you're really, uh, if you're really ready to challenge the Mega Evolution successor. I'll be waiting for you at the gym. Oh, the rest of your friends should come challenge me at the gym too. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'll bet Professor will be happy if you master Mega Evolution. That's one way, uh, one way you can show the mastery of a as a Pokemon trainer. Well, that's what hap that's what the professor wanted us to do after all. He said we should aim to be the best trainers we can be and enjoy our journey. Here now. Shall we work uh shall we work to be the best trainers we can be too? All right then, let's aim for the top. Hope to see you again soon, Sensei. See ya, Shani. Oh, Shani and the other girlfriend. You don't really need to go all uh, uh, go to all that trouble in comparing. Every li living creature is unique, but still, having someone to compete against and aim for greater heights with is uh, with this is a very a fine thing. And the girlfriend's like, Sensei, I think that you and Serena are going to compete against each other and get really strong. I'm so glad we're all traveling together. She really does love me. Okay, alrighty, so. The next thing we're going to be doing here in Chatelure City is our Pokemon Challenge, our Pokemon Gym Battle. So, in the next episode, guys, we will be challenging for our following badge, and hopefully we'll get some evolutions out of the way. You know, because we do have another Megastone. So, thank you guys again 
for another great episode. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.